Hey guys, welcome back to It's Leisha. Um, so we're gonna do a story time today of all the scary things that have happened. Let's do in this house that I'm currently in right now because I've lived in this house for probably a maximum of like seven to 10 years because I lived with my mom. I rented it from, like with my mom. Well, she owned it and I rented it from her. I'm still renting it from her, but she no longer lives here. Uh, she lives with her boyfriend, so yeah. Um, I mean, if there isn't that many stories and it doesn't go on for that long, I'll tell some more scary stories from uh, when I was younger. So we're going to sit and we're going to have a coffee together because it's coffee time. The little one's down for a nap and it's afternoon coffee time. And I've got nobody else to sit and talk to, so why not sit and talk to all you guys? So anyways, um, I never heard back from the guy that I did the the exposing video up from um, he just called me a bitch that was it um, and then of course Ron went off on him and that was it he never said anything else so I had blocked him off snapchat and that was that but personally I think it's for, uh, somebody from my Facebook to be honest a little little creeper there but anyways who cares over it like I said last night Okay, so let's start with one of the first uh, of the few creepy things that happened uh, living in this house. Um, let's start with the most recent. <laughs> the most recent was just on Sunday. I was downstairs and I was cleaning up my basement and Brooklyn, it's just Brooklyn's room down there in the laundry room and like my photography room and like a a junk room <laughs> let's just put it that way it has a bunch of junk in there so um I was just down and I was uh, vacuuming the hallway and I had it I had uh, the vacuum plugged into the wall in the bathroom but here's the toilet here and like here's the plug in way over here like there's no way that the cord would touch the toilet and the toilet seat was up so like here's the toilet seat and here's the plug in like way over here and it like goes down this way so there's no way it would touch this toilet seat right here. Well, I'm vacuuming away, you know, la la la, minding my own business. And then all of a sudden you hear like right loud, like the toilet seat slammed shut. It wasn't just, it fell over, it was pushed. It was literally pushed. Um, I'm like, uh, Brooklyn? <laughs> Cause like I turned the vacuum off immediately. I'm like, Brooklyn? Cause she was upstairs. She's like, yeah, I'm like, uh, can you come down here? Because I thought Ron was out and I heard Ron talking. I'm like, Ron, better yet, can you come down here? And uh, so he came down and he stayed down with me until I was finished uh, doing what I had to do down there. Uh, yeah, that was scary. And he's like, well, maybe the, he's like, maybe the cord did it. I'm like, no, look. And I showed him that there was no way the cord could have done it. And like I said, it was forced shut really loud. It wasn't just, it didn't just fall down. It didn't just like get knocked down from the cord even if it could have like it, it just no no wouldn't have happened so anyways um that's the most recent um what else hi Bella yes okay go um what else is another I'm trying to do them from most recent but I'll just I'll just do another one so when my mom lived here um there was a point where I wasn't living here actually I was living in Bobo, I think it was so I had come to visit and every time I'd come to visit I'd use the bathroom like the upstairs bathroom here the main bathroom and she had this picture on the wall and every time I used the bathroom the picture frame would fly at my feet like it would like the toilets right where I'm sitting and the walls like right here or the frames like right here like up on the wall like, literally right in front of me and it would fly down every time I'd use the bathroom and hit my feet and then like my mom would hear like the bang she'd be like did it happen again and I'm like yeah like every time it was like a sign like I don't know what the sign was or anything but it was it was creepy um another thing that happened it was uh this one happened to my mom not me she told me well she called me up uh she was laying in bed and my sister was laying on the other side of the bed so here's the bed and here's the door uh I'll put my hand this way. Here's the bed and here's the door. And they were laying in bed. Uh, my mom was talking on the phone and my sister was like over on this side, like the far, far side away from the door. 
and uh, my mom was talking on the phone on the bed and all of a sudden the door opened up and the way the carpet is in the bedroom is like very thick like up high so the door rubs up against the carpet so you have to have force in order to open up the door and she's like Alicia <laughs> I come running upstairs I'm like what what what's going on she's like the bedroom door just opened by itself I'm like no way Mandy like I guess Mandy my sister she looked at my mom was like mom did you open the door and my mom's like no I was clearly sitting here on the phone <laughs> so yeah um, that's another creepy thing that's happened in this house. Uh, I should have wrote down things. I should have been more prepared. Um, because there's definitely more things that have happened. Um. Oh, uh, when I had my bedroom downstairs in the basement, we went, I went down and I flicked on the switch and my, my light wouldn't turn on, but my uh, dehumidifier in my son's room turned on and I was like okay like what's going on <laughs> I don't know it turned out that was an electrical problem though so that I don't know that was just like a coincidence or something like I think that was just the electrical problem so I guess that's not really creepy I have two more stories that I can think of off the top of my head so another one was um, I was down in the laundry room doing laundry and uh, I had the light on in the laundry room and whatnot and uh, I'm doing laundry switching it over and all of a sudden the light turned off I don't know where just turned off I was like okay <laughs> so I went and I turned it back on yep that was pretty scary and from this day on I hate going and switching laundry over to be honest I always make Ron do it <laughs> or I will have him uh, come with me because I don't like going by myself I'm definitely afraid of scary stuff <laughs> and ghosts like terrified um another thing uh no what was the last one? Oh, I was on Skype with a bunch of my girl girlfriends uh from around the world uh we have the five savages uh youtube channel together the club channel and uh we were all on skype and all of a sudden all you heard was like a girl scream like ah! and like it was here in my house and there was nobody else home and all the girls heard it too except for i think except for one but all the girls heard it and they can vouch for this. I'm sure they will vouch down in the comments that they heard this and when we were on Skype and there was nobody else home in the house. And I, like, I was like, okay. And then all of a sudden something started beeping and I went around. I was like, okay, maybe it's a smoke detector. Hi. <laughs> Somebody drove by and knocked. So I thought, okay, well maybe it's a smoke detector. So I went around the house and not one smoke detector was beeping, not the carbon monoxide detector, but eventually it quit. So I don't know what that was or can't explain that or anything. Um, now there's been numerous times where like I've been downstairs in the basement and like there's this big long hall to get into the basement. And you, like when you first come down the stairs, there's the laundry room over here, the bathroom here, and then there's like another room over here. And then you've got the room, like the bedroom way back here. So, and there's like a door and there's a glass door so you can see through it. Like there's been numerous times Bella sat at that door and growled and like as if like something's down, down the hallway. It's very creepy. Okay, somebody's honking. One second. Okay, I'm back. It was just the next door neighbors. So yeah, um, she would like bark and bark and bark nonstop and growl and it's just, it's scary because they say that dogs can sense things, right? So, I don't know. Um... Also, downstairs in that basement, um, when Brooklyn was like a year and a half, I lived here and her room was uh, in the room where off to the side back here, like there was the big room, there's the room off to the side. That was her room when she was like a year and a half. Um, she always refused to sleep in there. Um, like she'd be sleeping, I'd go and I'd put her in her room, she'd wake up screaming and kicking and like she's like, no, I'm not sleeping in here. Well, she didn't say that, but that's basically what she was saying. Um, but she'd sleep fine like anywhere in my room or whatever as long as she was with me. But as soon as, and like she'd walk past that room and she'd like look at it and run past it. Like <laughs> she was terrified of that room. Like there was something in that room. Like it was like 
that's very scary. Like, being a year and a half, like, you know, they say that babies and kids can hear things, right? So, like, uh, <laughs> very scary. So, uh, yeah, like, for a, a child that young to, like, when you go past it, like, sit there and look, like, like, being terrified of it and then run and scream past it, like, Ah, it was scary. Her room ended up, she ended up sleeping in my room. I moved her toddler bed into my room. <laughs> it was really, really scary. Um, I can't really think of anything else. Yes, I can. There was one night, um, I came out into the kitchen. I was sleeping upstairs at this time. I came out into the kitchen and I could hear like very, very lightly, um, like a lullaby playing. And at this point, I didn't have a young child. Uh, Brooklyn was older, and there was no like lullaby things in the house, so I have no idea where this lullaby was coming from. But it sounded like it was close yet far away. Like, and it was like la 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 or something like that. And I was just like. Hey, what the heck? I thought I was hearing things, literally. Bella wants to say hi. <laughs> I thought I was hearing things. Bella, go. Um, like, it honestly, it really scared me. Because I was like, hey, where is that coming from? There's no lullaby thing in this house. And I was like, hey, maybe it's like a cell phone or something. But no, I, I still, to this day, I can't explain where that lullaby came from. And the one last thing. Oh, no. It totally just slipped my mind. That is terrible. That is terrible. It was a good one too. Mm. I can't remember it guys. That totally sucks. I don't know, it's gone. <laughs> And that's what happens to me. <laughs> All of a sudden, like, that's another thing. I'll, be, I'll, like, I'll be talking to Ron or something, and uh, I'll be sitting there, and I'll be like, what was I going to say? And he's like, I don't know. You didn't say it yet. And I'm like, duh. <laughs> I can never remember anything. Um, if I remember it, I'll add the clip back in. But for right now, I cannot remember what the last one was. There was the lullaby one. Oh, I remember. Okay, so my grandmother uh, got Brooklyn this creepy, creepy, you know those uh, jewelry boxes that open up and they've got the little ballerina dancing girl in it? Well, to me, those are creepy. Because, um, like, they're in, like, every creepy show that you see, right? So she bought one and I had stuffed it under my bed because I'm like, Brooklyn's not having this. <laughs> and... I haven't never seen it since. Haven't seen it since. It wasn't under my bed when I've moved my room. It wasn't under my bed when I've, you know, like there's nothing under my bed right now. So I don't know where it went. No idea. And I was alone that time. Like there, nobody else lived here. Like I had a roommate, but she never come in my room. Um, so there's really no explanation where that jewelry box went either um so yeah if you guys <laughs> wondering what I'm playing with I'm playing with this little squishy thing <laughs> they're so addicting um Brooklyn ended up getting one I'm like oh that would be good for my anxiety so yeah you just squish it down and then it slowly comes up oh here's our newest member to our family he's he has a cold his name's Joker as he, like he's got the cool little markings he looks like Joker. He always turns his head like this. So it's like, why so serious? <laughs> That's why we call him Joker. Because he looks like the Joker. Um, Alright, well, I think I have company. And I'm going to end this here. Bella, stop it. Babies are sleeping. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Love yous. Mwah. Hey, wait. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos. Bye, guys. Mwah.